Hi there! Welcome to Statistics and Probability, Quarter 3, Week 1, B. Objective, the learner finds possible values of a random variable. Let's start with problem number 1. A shipment of 5 computers containing 2 that are slightly defective. Now, if a retailer receives 3 of these computers at random, list the elements of the sample space S using the letters D and N for defective and non-defective computers respectively. To each sample point, assign a value X of the random variable X representing the number of computers purchased by the retailer which is slightly defective. For the solution, we let capital letter D be a defective computer and N be a non-defective computer. We have to draw a three diagram, three column, three diagram. We have first computer, second computer, and third computer. Now on the first computer, we have two possibilities, either a D or an N. Then given a D in the first computer, there are two possibilities in the second computer. It could be either D or N. And in the same manner, we have the third computer as N. This is forced to be N. Why? Because the first two computers are already defective. And it is stated in the problem that there are only two slightly defective computers. So we cannot have the triple D outcome here. So, it's gonna be N. Now, here, let's focus on this. Given the second computer is an N, the third one could be either B, a defective, or a non-defective one. So, in the first computer, given it's a non-defective or N, then there are two possibilities. It could be either D or N. Then, if we choose this path, we have... On the third computer, there are two possibilities, D or N. If we choose this path, we have D or N. There are seven possible outcomes. Let's try to list the possible outcomes and let's try to get the value of X. How many Ds are there in each of the possible outcomes? The first is D, D, N. There are only two slightly defective computers so answer is two we have d and d there are also two d's then we have d and n there is only one d then we have n d d two d's and also we have n d n one d we also have n n d another one d and triple N, which is 0 D. So therefore, the values of X here are 0, 1, and 2. Moving on to problem number 2. From a box containing 4 black balls and 2 green balls, 3 balls are drawn in succession. Each ball is placed back in the box before the next draw is made. We let G be the random variable representing the number of green balls that occur. So we have to find the values of G. That is the object of this problem. Find the values of the random variable G. For the solution, let G represent green ball and B represents black ball. There are also three columns for our three diagram and in the first draw two possibilities either a green or a black ball let's consider first here the g in the second draw it's either g or b in the third draw given g and g we have g or b given a g and a b we have a g or a b next here we have Given a B, in the second draw could be either G or B. Then in the third draw, given B and G, third draw could be G or B. And given B and B, the third 
draw could be either G or B. There are eight possible outcomes. How did we come up with eight? It's two raised to three. There are three draws and there are two possible outcomes, G or B. Two, raise it to three, that makes it eight. It says in the problem there that there are only two green balls. But take note that it is also stated in the problem that there are two green balls and every time you draw a ball, you have to put it back. So it is with replacement. So it's okay to have a triple G as one of the possible outcomes. Now let us list all the possible outcomes here. The first is we have triple G and the value of G is 3. The second outcome is GGB value of the random variable G is 2 because there are two G's in this particular possible outcome. Next is GBG. There are two G's. Then we have GBB. There is only one G. Then we have BGG. There are two G's. BGB, one G. BBG, one G also. And then triple B, zero G. So therefore, the possible values of the random variable G are 0, 1, 2, and 3. This completes our solution and see you in the next video. If you are not yet a subscriber of my channel, kindly subscribe and please don't forget to like and share. If you are a subscriber, you will be updated with more uploads for this learning activity videos. Thank you and always stay happy, healthy, and safe.